Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dead Cells. And before we get too far in this episode, let me just say some burns are terrible. I went on like uh, I floated down a river today, like on an inner tube with some friends, and uh, I thought I was applying enough sunblock. When in fact I was not. Or rather, I was applying enough, but I sort of wasn't doing it super evenly when I was reapplying it. And because of that, some areas of my chest are like real, like, kind of sunburned. That's annoying. But that's pretty neither here nor there for, uh, for dead cells content wise. But oh got this. Good to go. So we've been making it pretty far in recent episodes. And we're still looking for that one blueprint, the whatever sword. So we're gonna go to the ossuary and then the uh I'm gonna Look at all their stuff. Because if there's a 30% damage reduction uh, amulet, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that. So I don't wanna waste the 3,000. Even though I have 70,000 gold, basically. I don't know. It's a matter of principle in this case. But, um. Definitely not gonna take that. Um. We'll be going there eventually, but not right now. Ah, uh, man. Sunburns are real bad. Okay, um, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Um, Death Orb. Actually, I went to Bernie Target. Sure. It's pretty good. Alright, okay, let's go over here. And I'm just waiting for the update. How did that hit me exactly? Oh. How did that also hit me? Excuse me? I see, uh, I see how that one hit me, but there are a couple there. Well, looks like we got the combo going, like level one, four, one. Just that's kind of crazy. No. Still need our item. Now. Get one in the hell. Take that. Definitely not. Take this amulet to the ends of the earth. Now, where's our item room? Is, did I already find the item room? Excuse me? Uh, I guess. The curse just counted as an item room on this floor. Or rather, it can do that in general. Which kind of bothers me. Yeah, let's go up here then. Oh. Let's leave. Let's see what's in this place. Ooh, there's a fire. Even though that has a like extra bonus, I'm not gonna take that because we have we have the combo. We have the wombo combo. What were we what were we upgrading? Fire torch, that makes sense. Ugh. Oh, shit, I should probably check the recording. Yep, yeah, recording's good. Recording solid. Man. I know how I was saying, like, this game is fun and all, but it's like... I'm playing the... Or rather, not the, but I've been playing XCOM 2. And that game's also very, very fun. 
And it's sort of like perfectly up my alley for when I want a strategy oriented game. It's turn based. It's like not it's incredibly punishing. I like it. I'm gonna definitely take that. Let me get the mouse off the screen. Oh, please. Um, there's a, there's a carrot over here I should grab. Yep, good carrot. Dude, no, no, no. Start out here. Uh, oh, please. I'm probably gonna, in a rare move today, I'm probably gonna record XCOM 2 on the um, on, a, on an off day, just because it's so goddamn fun. Oh my god, why? Good, nice upgrade there. Okay. Also, really like how this game is shaped up to sort of be like an hour long for each episode. I'd be totally fine doing like much longer stuff, like an hour and a half stuff. But it's like, it's nice that each of these is like an hour basically. I also really, I'd really like to replace the spear one. I know it deals a fair amount of damage, but it's like, like come on. Alright, up here. up here do this man I'm sorry if I sound tired in this episode I in order to go uh, float a river with my friends I had to wake up much earlier than I'm accustomed to normally because I've been since I've since I'm on summer vacation right now and I've been staying up on until about four something in the morning four five in the morning and we were uh, meeting like a lot earlier today than when I normally wake up at like one in the afternoon. We were like meeting up at like uh, like eleven at this place to like get the tubes for rental. And it's like oh please, I'm just so tired. I'll go into that. Um. Oh. Okay, uh. Not quite yet, though. Right, yeah. I'll go in here now. Ah, oh, shit. This is like, this kills me. <gasps> that, man. That almost kills me every time. Oh, shit. Oh, did he get put down there? Oh, oh. No! 
Oh boy. YOLO. Oh, Jesus. Every single fucking goddamn time. I'll let this take care of them. I probably have only a couple more enemies. Oh no, it's done. We've done it. We've we've done it. Done real good. Uh, yeah. Oh, for sure, I'll take that. Strength plus one, bleed damage. Nice. Very solid. Yeah, that deals a lot more damage. Oh hell yeah. Uh, anything over here? Probably be the prison death. Yep. But we're not going to the prison depths, we're going to the rampart just to get the last blueprint unlocked. I'll do it. Let me, let me. Let me get out of here. Let me, let me kill you. Let me kill this man. Oh. That was entirely terrible. I just needed to get a little bit more damage on him. And he kept on fighting me. That was annoying. Flashbang. Not quite good enough. The iron grenade's better. In my opinion. Or at least my place that I liked it better. Item room. Regular grenade. Not good enough. Oh yeah. Ooh. Buy stuff. No. No. Death orb just better. Death orb just like probably one of the best active skills in the game by itself, without any other things. Obviously, damage buffer plus a couple different like like weapons is like probably the best thing in the game. But by itself, I think death orb might be the best skill in the game. Man, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of nuts. Alright, uh, and let's... I see an item room up there of some sort. Oh, that's... Obviously, that's the same item room. That makes sense. Oh, food item room. Dang it. No. I already have the best... Oh. I already have the best, uh, like, enchantment for a, uh, um, amulet in the game. Looks like we're going real, real heavy into strength this game. That's 720 damage, man. Alright, let's. Yep. Done with that dude. Let's go over and then 
Probably will, how we get down there is probably over here, almost certainly. Man, if we only had, we had better skills to match our current damage output. Although I don't really mind dealing as much damage as we do. I just wish Death Orb would deal a little bit more. Those guys are no problem for us. Like absolutely no goddamn problem. so fast. So we should be near the end of everything on this floor. There's an item room there. How do we get to that item room? Hmm. Uh, well we have to go up here to the right. Actually I'm just gonna clear this this teleportation room. Right now. Because I feel like it no real reason in particular. Oh, shit, this is the one we already did. That makes sense. Wait, what was this? Where does it take us? I forgot. Right there, there. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Let's go over and then up. Time room that makes sense. Now where there's definitely a part over here we've not explored. Guys are done real fast. How do we get down to the item room then? Uh, I, I'm probably just being an idiot. Is it, is it over here to the left? Is there like a, a statue over here? No. Oh, there is a thing there though. Thought I saw a thing right there. Um. Oh, I think I might see how, maybe how to get over there. Okay, it's right here, I didn't. There we go, that was easy. Well, that's just strictly better. Um, no, there we go. I was like, how do I get to this room? Is boggling my mind. Okay, now that is that is all of the floor. Yeah. So now we're gonna go to the right parts and try to get the last blueprint. Man. Or we're gonna fly by this area like it's nobody's business. And then the boss, even right now, with absolutely zero upgrade, should be no problem. <laughs> God 
God damn. The damage. The damage are real. It's very tall. Upgrade, nice. Make our death orb do more damage. Okay, uh, going through. Twelve minutes and twenty seconds ago. Yep, we we're way too slow to have gone that room. But it doesn't really matter because the rewards. For that or rather one time. Surprisingly not terrible. I just wish one of these guys would drop the goddamn loop in it. We have to, we can give it till the end of the game. In fact, it wouldn't be terrible. Another skills upgrade. I noticed a lot of the skills upgrade that we've been getting have been like, we've been getting a disproportionately higher amount of individual skill upgrades rather than individual health or strength upgrades. How many of those red things I've killed? I'm surprised that I've not gone the blueprint. Because there have been some rooms where it's just a gigantic amount of them. There it is! We've done it. We have the last blueprint in our. Oh, it's rare. That makes sense. I was like, like, why have we not gotten it yet? I thought it was a common blueprint, but it makes sense that it's a, because it's a rare blueprint. This curse sword. I've noticed the curse sword has been showing up a lot more than the spiteful sword, or not spiteful sword, rather, the other sword with the same icon as this one. You guys know what I'm talking about. But the curse sword that deals a lot of damage. A lot of deals. A lot, a lot of damage. Can we get some health? 
health here. That'll probably lead us to the end. Or that definitely will lead us to the, the boss. So we're gonna do everything else we can in our power. Uh, here we go. Please. I don't know if I kill this shield, dude. There's everybody else over there. Just deal with these guys nice and. Oh. No! Uh, no. Uh, why? Uh, no. Okay. That doesn't. Particularly matter. We're pretty stacked right now. Wait, is it? I noticed. I, I'm pretty sure there was a way to like jump extra up extra high if you uh, if you had like a uh, whip and then like. Triple jump. It'd be interesting to see if you could possibly even get up there because I know we tried to get up to the, the edge like that in the Fog Fjord on one episode and he just couldn't. It was an invisible wall. And so, um, yeah, I'm gonna get that to that level and then put some of it there. Uh, extra damage or burning target, not useful. All fires and arrow, not useful. Or not worth it, rather, I guess. Better way of phrasing it. So, I'm ready to just absolutely murderize the, the boss guy here. Stand no chance. Yep. Already got invincibility. Man, he, he just dies real fast. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. Man, he dead. Yeah, that was that was easy. No sweat. There was not even once where he even got close to killing us. I think the most he had us down was like maybe two thirds health. I'd probably put it closer to maybe like sixty percent health. But even still, we destroying, destroying everything. Okay. Um. What else are you gonna get up? to the next level. Uh, I mean, we use the oh wait, we use the fire grenade a lot. But is it yeah it's worth it. I'll get the fire grenade. I mean if you look at my stats for all my runs I probably use the fire grenade a lot of times. Okay. And recording is still going. Solid. Just clean and chop. Oh no, why is it a food vendor? Oh, I hate food vendors. Well, most of the time I hate them now. I used to love them, but because I, I wouldn't have enough potion chargers, yada yada yada. But because now that I actually 
have enough have enough charges on my potion. It doesn't really matter if I get a food vendor or not. Solid shield. Not worth it. Well, I guess it's also not worth it, and then also, that's not the thing isn't worth it. Okay, I'm gonna go inside, break it open, go to the outside, go up here. Oh, please. stopping us. Just kicking ass, taking names. What is that up there? It shoes your own. Oh no. Uh, I'll wait until the end of the floor. Because we at this current moment we don't need it. Because of that. I'll wait to choose the most fitting upgrade. How the hell? I don't know how I went from here to on top of here. And I'm almost at 8,000 gold. I'm waiting until I get 100,000. So I'm, I guess I'm buying this. I mean, I, mean, I would have preferred not that, but it's fine. Uh, well, I guess after you get a certain number of them, you can start chain ivy, chain ivy grenading them. Uh, so the research. Okay, so if I get one more skills upgrade, I can chain Ivy Grenade the boss. Which I guess is a threshold that's actually really worth it. So, I'll definitely want to get one more skills before the final boss. But then I also want strength and yada yada yada. Just t destroying fools in this game. So strong in this run. Curse sword five, no. That deals a lot of damage, but no. I guess I'll go up now. It doesn't really matter when I go up. Oh wait, 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 wait! Hold, 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 hold. Was there a? I thought there was a secret room right there. What happened there? Oh, that's so sad. We got comboed into oblivion. Oh my god, that, that was terrible. That was horrible. Really bad. Well, we're starting this one with a lot. So, we're getting blood and fire. Yep. 
But now we officially have all of the blueprints unlocked. All of the items just unlocked in general, as well as all of them with at least the first upgrade. And most of them with the second and some of them with the third. So that's going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed the video and like my content, I would very much recommend giving a like to the video and or subscribing to my channel. And if you didn't like what you see here, well, you know what to do. And I will see you guys in the next episode.